Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video because we have an amazing launch day happening at Jay-Z Styles Co. right now. We have two sets of color brush collections launching and two different round brushes. So I wanted to go over each of them, kind of show you the benefits, um, what they do, what they look like, and then show you real life how I use them and you know how they perform in the salon. So I'm gonna just kind of dive right in and show you everything. So the first thing is we have smoothing for bristle round brushes launching. Um, if you follow Jay-Z, you know that we do have a metal round brush. It's like bigger. I'll show you actually right here. So it's this guy. We've had this for like three years now and I love this one. I still am gonna use this all the time. It has a pick so you can section out hair, um, but it is like the metal one with like the nylon and board bristle and I wanted ones that were more for smoothing. This one gives you a lot of great volume. So I usually end up using like all three of them um, with a blowout in different ways. Um, so we now have the smoothing round brushes launching. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna open these up and show you guys what they look like. Okay, so the first one, I would say this is like a traditional sized round brush. So it has the cork handle and it's riveted, so you can hold onto it really well. It gives you a really good grip. It has our cute little logo on it. And then I would say it's a little bit smaller than this one, but it's just like a regular round brush size. So this is gonna be good for all hair types, all hair lengths. Um, you can use this on anyone, and it's gonna be really good for volume and smoothing. Really, really cute. Okay, and then this is the second round brush. So it's the same type of thing, but it's a little bit longer and the bristles are white, which is cute. Um, it's the same cork riveted handle. And this is gonna be ideal for long hair because it's a longer um, kind of like barrel right here. And it's a little bit thinner too. So you can see this one's a little bit thicker. This one's like thinner and longer. So if you have really long hair you're working with, this is gonna be awesome. So between like these two and honestly even this one, this is gonna be like your perfect blowout ever. And they come in the cutest little boxes. So excited. Okay, now we have the color brushes. I'm actually gonna insert a little clip of the first time I ever saw um, the first collection that came in. The first one that came in was the cream one, which is the essentials collection. Um, but I'm gonna go over each of these with you so you guys know the benefits. You guys, this is an exciting day because our color brushes have arrived. Um, we have two different collections. Only one of them's here. The other one's supposed to be here today too, so I'm hoping it shows up. But I'm gonna show you guys my first official look at them. So this is the Brush It Off Essentials Collection. And each collection has five brushes and they're all for different things. And they are so cute. I'm loving the color. So we've got this one. Then we have this one. Then we have this one. We have the highlighting brush. This one is a crown. Then we have the halo one. This one's for like detail hairline work. All right, so this is the Essentials Collection. So this is five color brushes and they each have their own specific use. And this Essentials Collection is gonna be good for like any technique you do in the salon. It's essential for everything. So I'm gonna go over each of them. So this first one is called All In. This one is a little bit bigger and wider. And this is going to be perfect for your all over colors and your root retouches. Each of the brushes have our little Jay-Z logo with a specific different like emoticon is that what it's called or like little symbol above it um so all in is a heart so so cute so this since it's big it's going to be just really good when you need to like cover a lot of ground and it's like the root retouches or the all over colors then we have the crown coverage brush this is the crown coverage and the little symbol's a crown. And we called this the crown coverage because it's gonna be ideal for like when you're doing work in the crown, when you're highlighting, um, basically all the stuff you're doing, but I would say this is like a highlighting brush. So this is gonna be good for all of your highlights, whether they're baby lights or chunkier highlights, whatever you may do. Then we have Don't Be a Tease. And this one's so cute because it's like a little like halo with like the devil horns. And it's like, don't be a tease. Um, and this is amazing. These bristles are so soft, so smooth. And we specifically made all of our brushes with black bristles so that they do not stain. Because a lot of color brushes, they have the soft bristles and those are the ones I gravitate towards, but they're white and then they get stained and they just look disgusting after. So I made sure that all of these are the soft bristles that we love to use, but in black. So don't be a tease is going to be ideal for like your teasy lights, your balayage, um, when you're doing like foliage and you're just doing like feathering and blending work, this is gonna be your best friend. Okay, then we have the hairline halo. 
So we have our little Jay-Z with a halo. And if you have followed us or if you've come to one of our classes, you know that we use the hairline halo as like a technique for the hairline. Um, the money pieces even under here, um, the halo is just really important because it's gonna get your client that really blonde look around like the whole hairline when they put their hair up. And a lot of times we're working with finer hair and smaller sections in the hairline halo. So that's why we called this one the halo is because this is gonna help you with your detail work around the face under here where you have like smaller sections and you don't wanna use like a huge brush for that. This is gonna help you be really precise. Okay, the last brush in this collection is called Third Base, and it has the Jay-Z with like the little base symbol and baseball around it, and it's like the cutest little brush right here, and then it has a plastic tip at the end, and this is going to be perfect for your bowl work. So we called this Third Base because we have three different techniques when it comes to rooting at the bowl. We have a tap, a shadow, and a smudge, so this is like the home run, the three bases, your tap, your shadow, your smudge of rooting at the bowl. And this is the perfect brush to use because you can pick it up and then apply it and it's so easy to use. So this is going to be perfect for all of your detail work that you do at the bowl. Okay, the next collection is called the Lived In Collection. So these have the same symbols and the same names, um, and they're really gonna be good for about the same things, but this one is specifically meant for lived in colors. The Essentials Bundle you can use with any technique you're doing in the salon. These you can too, but I really did specifically create them for lived in looks that we're all so into right now. So the first one I'm gonna go over with you guys is, let's do it in the same order. So this is all in. So this is going to be another brush that's really good for your colors, your root retouches, because it has this metal tip at the end. So you can use this at the bowl just like this one. This one's plastic, so it's a little easier um, to like kind of like work with. But I feel like this one's ideal for when you're doing root retouches and all of our colors, because this tail is a little bit longer and it gets through the hair really well since it's like a sturdy tail. So when you're at the bowl with wet hair, this one's easier to use. But when you're at the chair applying color, whether it's an all over color or a root retouch or you're painting in between foils, doing a paint between like we do with lived in colors this is going to be awesome because you can section as you go okay next we have the crown coverage so this one is smaller the reason it's smaller is because these two brushes go hand in hand so i'm going to talk about this one after um, but this one's going to be ideal for highlighting working in the crown area um, i did this one smaller because i feel like with lived in colors sometimes we do work with smaller sections where we have like the halo section and then we have like some in the back sometimes we're doing low lights sometimes we're doing baby lights sometimes we're doing bigger highlights but lived in work is like a little bit different because you're doing like less foils for a bigger appearance and i feel like this brush is perfect perfect for it and the bristles are amazing so that along with the don't be a tease brush this is gonna be a bigger version of this. So this is gonna be good for when you're doing like the teasy lights and the back combing and the painting of the dropouts, but they're the same brush. The bristles are the same. It's just that this one's smaller, this one's bigger. So I felt like this would be better for detail work and this is bigger. Um, so it's better for like dropouts and stuff. So those two brushes. Then we have the hairline halo. So again, it's just a smaller brush that's gonna be ideal for hairline work. Um, it's a really soft bristle and it just kind of gets in there. Love this. Last but not least, we have the third base brush. So this is another brush that's gonna be ideal for doing bowl work, whether you're toning, root smudging, tapping, shadowing, which we all know with lived in colors we do. So this is going to be awesome because you can paint it on. So you dip it in your product, paint it on, just flip it and then comb through. Instead of taking like four different brushes and combs and you know all that to the bowl, this is gonna be your best friend. So this is gonna be great. All of these are gonna be super great for lived in, but you can use them for anything. So we have the two brush collections, the two round brushes. Those all launched today i will link them in the description box below you can get your hands on them and i'm also going to show you guys right now how i use these in the salon every day the best part about the brush is having the symbols on them is now like if you're mixing up multiple formulas and you don't want to get confused you know because this is my all in so that's going to be like my root formula and then that one is going to be my like low light formula so it's kind of nice don't mind this bowl i'm going to be doing demos for you guys but um it's good it's going to be good because then like depending on the symbol you know what formula to use so here's our before. I'm gonna do a little color refresh and show you guys how I like to use all the brushes. We're gonna do a combination of highlights, low lights, and a base color to refresh what she has. So around the hairline, I am doing some highlights just to brighten her back up and give her some blonde pieces in the front. So I'm using the hairline halo brushes here. I'm going to use both of them from the Essentials collection and the Lived In collection. Both of these brushes are just amazing for these smaller pieces, the detailed work, as you can see right here. 
I'm also using the crown coverage brush for some of the highlights. So this is the smaller one in the lived-in collection, and this is going to help me with any of my highlights, but you can still use it around the face too since it's small. And then here's the crown coverage from the Essentials collection where I'm doing bigger highlights around her facial frame, and then I'm also adding some highlights kind of throughout for her to give her a pop as well. Now I'm using the All In Brush from the Lipton Collection. You can see that this one's amazing for low lights because it has that metal pick at the end where I can section, I can highlight and low light with it. And so I am just using this for the low light right here. You can also see attached in the upper right corner of the formula I used. We are using Red King JTQ for her low lights and the base color. Now we are doing some teasy lights on her dropout, so I'm using the Don't Be a Tease from the Lipton Collection. You can see that this brush just blends so smoothly and it just glides in the hair so nice and helps you blend. Here is the Don't Be a Tease brush from the Essentials Collection and this is like one of my personal favorites. I love the way this brush works. The bristles are so smooth and it blends so incredibly well. And doing these dropouts is necessary even on a redhead because it's going to give us those pops of blonde that she kind of wants throughout to give her red hair dimension. So when you're doing a tutorial like this, there's so many different things you have to do, different formulas, different techniques, and we're kind of doing everything within this little tutorial, which is why I thought it would be good to kind of put to use all of the brushes here today. <laughs> Now we are using the Essentials All In brush. This is the bigger All In, and you can see it's perfect for a base color like this, but I also wanted to throw in some footage on how I use it for highlighting. At the nape of the neck when I'm doing wider sections like this, I love using it just to kind of cover more ground. On to toning, I'm using that third base brush right here. This is the one from the Essentials Collection. You can see that having that plastic little pick at the end helps you so much when you're sectioning off. It's a really clean section, and then this brush is just perfect for rooting at the bowl. I love it so much. Here is the third base brush from the Lived In Collection. You can see how it covers a lot of ground and then you can just flip it and comb through. Love using this brush for these techniques. And the base color that I'm doing right here is just the same base color that I did at the chair with the paint between. And I'm just kind of using it again now to blend in the highlights. Alright you guys, that is it for today's video. I'm just adding the final touches on her by giving her a little bit of a trim and she did want a little bit of a curtain bang. So this kind of just gave her haircut a little shape that it was needing and I love the way it turned out. Let me know if you are excited to get the round brushes and the color brushes. The link for all of those is in the description box below because they are now live on their website. And if you use them, please tag me in your Instagram stories or your posts. I wanna see you guys using them and give me your feedback on how you like them. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and also learned a little something within this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.